Today's video, I'm going to show you how we can now use Magic Leap with MRTK. Really excited about it because Magic Leap is now supporting that tool set. What does that mean to you? Well, it means that now you can use MRTK not only for the Oculus Quest, not only for HoloLens development or any other mixed reality device, but you can also use it with Magic Leap. And I'm really, really excited because I know Magic Leap is also working on a new device. So that means that now you don't have to worry about, you know, understanding their workflow. You can also use MRTK. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through what you need to do in Unity, how to generate a certificate, what tools you need to get into Unity in order for this to work, and what version of Unity as well. So, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at the demo scene. All right, so I'm sure this looks familiar to you because this is the MRTK demo scene that we've been looking at for a while. So let's go ahead and test out the controller. So right now I'm using the controller. I'm bringing the earth. We can see the inner core. I can just adjust it. Let's go ahead and bring the cup. I can bring the cup here. I can perhaps just put it back. And let's go ahead and try these lighters. The other thing that I can also do is you can look at my hands right now. Everything is getting, you know, mapped correctly from MRTK to the, you know, with Magic Leap. So if I, get, if I get close here, we can try to use the sliders. The sliders work, I can change the color. I can also do the same thing here. And that also works. And obviously everything is, you know, getting rotated with, you know, as my hand gets rotated. I'm gonna try to bring something closer here. Let's go ahead and look at the sphere here. And I'm using the controller because it's more precise, but I'm really impressed with hand tracking. It still works really well. And I mean, it uses the same implementation that we have for MRTK and you know, Oculus Quest. There's a little glitches, so I, I think for a preview version, this works well. We can use the controller to rotate. We can just move this around. Go ahead, go ahead and put that over there. How about the windows? Let's go ahead and bring the window here. And I'm also using the controller, but I can also use my hand, right? If we wanted to push a button here, you can see that they're getting highlighted. That means that it's detecting my hand correctly. I can also use the feature, which is follow me. And the window is going to follow me. If I move around, we can get closer. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and not follow me. I just put you away from me, perhaps right there. Let's go ahead and test other components. Let's bring this other window here. And this window has uh, basically a scrollable area and you know, things work. You can try also that with our hands. And see, it works. It's not 100% accurate, but I'm gonna say that it's, it's progress. Let's go ahead and bring the cheese here. We can bring the cheese. I can also grab the cheese and move it around. A little glitchy again on the, on the hand gestures for some reason. Might be the experimental version. Let's go ahead and bring this other, other window. But if you're using the controller, I think it's, you know, it's, this is progress, right? And we are able to use the gestures with our hands and that works really well. You can bring the cup here. You can also do, if I get closer, you can see that the boundary is going to start showing. And if we wanted to grab, see if we can try this. It does work, it works. I mean, it works well. All right guys, welcome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be creating a project from scratch. So the version of Unity that I'm gonna be using, which is described in the documentation, is 2020.2.0 F1. And make sure that it has the Lumin support. If it doesn't, just go ahead and click on Add Modules. And then you can go ahead and click on Lumin OS. So once you do that, we can go back into project and we're gonna be creating a brand new project. And I really recommend that you use that version of Unity because a lot of times it causes problems if you don't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Unity MRTK Magic Leap is gonna be our demo. And I'm also going to be sharing this project in GitHub so you guys can download it. Let's go ahead and click on Create. Now let's go ahead and click on File, Build Settings, and we're gonna go ahead and change the platform to be Lumin. I'm gonna go ahead and switch platform. Okay, let's go ahead and click Close, and I'm gonna go into Window, Package Manager, and once we have this, let's make sure that we go into Advanced Project Settings because we're gonna be adding a package that is still is in experimental stage, which is the Magic Leap plugin. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Unit Registry by changing our option here. I'm gonna just search for Magic, and then it should come up with the Magic Leap XR plugin. Make sure that you go ahead and click on See Other Versions because 6.0.0 is not the one that is supported. We're going to be using 6.2.2. Click on Install. Okay, so it looks at like that finished. Let's now go into File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and we're gonna be looking at the XR Plugin Management, which I've been you know, playing around in the channel. Let's go ahead and enable Magic Leap under the Lumin platform. And let's do the same thing on the PC, Mac, and Linux, but we're gonna be doing Magic Leap Zero Interaction. 
And then you're also gonna see some settings here under Magic Leap settings, also some settings under the Magic Leap manifest settings. So if you need to add specific permissions, this is where you can do that. We'll go back into this because we'll need to do something in there. Now that we have that, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna show you a link here that you're gonna need. So this is the integration. This is gonna be the plugin that you need to download. And this is the Magic Leap plugin for MRTK 2.6.1. So make sure that you, you make sure that you download that and make sure that we set up MRTK 2.6.1. So we're gonna do that before we download the plugin. Click on, so right now I'm using the Mixed Reality Feature Tool. I really recommend that you use this. Click on a Start. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the Mixed Reality Feature Tool, make sure you watch some of my videos on MRTK and there's a lot of discussions about how to use this tool, how to integrate it into MRTK. And it basically makes it simple in you know, bringing in tools for MRTK. You can see all the versions in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do, there's two that are required, it's gonna be the Mixed Reality Toolkit Foundation and also the examples. But the version that we're gonna be using is the one that Magic Leap is re requiring, which is 2.6.1. And you know, this is all experimental. If you wanna try with newer versions, you can, but I'm gonna keep it safe because I want you to, to have something that works before we start messing around with future packages. Okay, it's gonna download the packages. Okay, so now that it downloaded the packages, we can select our project path, which is gonna be the project that we just created. Let's go ahead and do Unity MRTK Magic Leap. Make sure that you select the root of, of the folder and then click open, which is gonna be the root of the project. And then click on validate, just make sure there's no issues so that it knows which version of Unity we're using. Click on import and then approve. And then exit, and what it's gonna do is gonna modify the manifest file. Unity is gonna read the manifest file and it's going to import all the different packages that we just selected. Okay, so once MRTK is completed, let's go ahead and click on apply. And we should have MRTK set up and then also the Lumin pieces set up. So we're gonna need a package for the Magic Leap Unity package. So we're gonna have to import that as well. And what I normally do, you can go, if you don't have it already, you can go into bundles and download it. I already have it under my tools. So if you haven't downloaded the lab, I'm not gonna go through that process. Just make sure that you go into magicleap.com and then go into the developer portal and then download the lab. This is where you can download everything that we're gonna need for basically to be able to develop for Magic Leap. So I already did that, let's go ahead and click on open and here's gonna be one of the packages that we need, double click on that. And once it double clicks on it, it's going to you know, ex basically extend everything and uncompress everything and now we can click on import to import it into Unity. Okay, it looks at that finish, we're gonna hit apply one more time. So now we can import that package that I told you in the beginning which you can get from the website, the Magic Leap website. So it's basically this one, I already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and find it. Let's go into my desktop, double click on it. And it's gonna be titled MRTK, the version, and then Magic Leap. This is gonna be the integration between those two components. So it's gonna show you everything. It's gonna give you a couple of warnings. I already did this, so I'll go ahead and click on import. And everything should work, I already tested it, so it's okay if it's giving you a warning. It just means that you already have those files so I just want you to make sure that you're okay with that. Okay, so we should have everything that we need right now. So what we're gonna need is go into the examples that they provide. So I'm gonna go into MRTK Magic Leap, click on Providers, Magic Leap, and then Scenes. And this is gonna be very, very, you know, you're gonna notice this because this is very similar to the MRTK hand tracking example. So let's go ahead and gl click on Import, basically te Text Mesh Pro. Make sure that we have the Text Mesh Pro components. Once it finishes, we're gonna be, it's gonna look weird, but we'll just, we'll just swap to another scene and then it's going to look okay. Let's go back into sample scene, go back into scenes, and now you're gonna see that all the text, it is, it is correct. So this is very common, right? Like you, you're you really familiar with this. Let me make the gizmos, because this scene is one that I've been showing in the channel quite a bit with Oculus Quest. So this is the one that I show you in the beginning of this. Let's actually toggle gizmos in the beginning of the video. So. So now, a couple of things that we need to check just to make sure that everything got imported correctly. If you expand the Mixed Reality Play Space and go into the main camera, a couple of things that they want to make sure, and this is in the instructions that I'm gonna link in this video, is make sure that you have this force module active and make sure that your track post driver is also a component of the main camera. And generic XR device is going to be the device, post source, center I, HMD reference, these are all correct, I already verified them with the instructions that they have. So just make sure that those two components are added and make sure that checkbox is checked. 
So once you have that, the other thing that I would say look at is going to the Mixed Reality Toolkit and make sure that the profile is the Magic Leap profile. So you can see here we have the other profiles, the one for HoloLens 1, for HoloLens 2. But we also have a new Magic Leap profile, which is the one that is going to enable us to use in the Magic Leap device. If you go into input, it's also going to show you that the input is, is getting that information from the Magic Leap 1 input system profile so that it works with the Magic Leap components. And then also here, the main component, it's also labeled, the main profile is also labeled Magic Leap. So we should be okay with everything in there. The other thing that we also need to check before we call this good is I'm going to add this as a, as a scene that we're going to be building. This is the one that you're going to deploy to the device. The other thing is, let's go into player settings. We're going to be looking at a couple of permissions. So what I'm going to look at, one thing that they recommend that you do, click on synchronize. Once you click on synchronize, if you haven't upgraded or if you did upgrade to a Lumin SDK, a newer one, it's going to get those new properties, new permissions, and bring them in. If you don't do that, you might be using an old version of the permissions. So just make sure that you do that. And then we're going to go into manifest settings. We can go ahead and extend here a couple of components. And some of the things that we're going to need in here, and I know in my memory because I've done this a couple of times, so we're going to be enabling the controller post, also gestures config, Gestures subscribe. This one is optional. I'm still going to add it. The internet is optional. I'm still going to add it. PCF read is also optional. But I'm just going to add them all because I already tested with that. So make sure that everything is working. So we're also going to do world reconstruction, local area network. And I think that's everything that we need to basically enable in here. Just double checking. Yep, everything, everything should be good. So once you do that, those are all the permissions that we're going to need. The last thing that we're going to need is we're going to go into player and I'm going to recommend that you look at the, you know, how to generate a certificate, a developer certificate for, you know, for Magic Leap. I already did that. So if you haven't done that, I'm going to link also uh, basically the instructions on how to do that in another video that I did. So I already have one. And if I go into my, and this is probably not really secure because I put it in Dropbox, but, but this is just a demo, right? We should be completely fine. I'm going to go into my initial development cert, and this is the cert that we're going to, for some reason that didn't take, let me try that one more time. And that didn't work for some reason, so let's go ahead and, let me go ahead and go into that folder. And I'm going to go into Dropbox, and go into Magic Leap, development certificate, and yeah, for some reason it's not taking it, which I, I don't understand why. And that's fine. So what we can do is, I already, I already tried this and it did work. So I think what we can do is, oh, there we go. For some reason it didn't work. So I just basically deleted what was there and then re-added it and now it is linked. So once you do that, you can also update the, com the company name. Normally name this, you know, Dilmer Games. I can do LLC, it's gonna be the name of your app. And then also the version of your application that you're developing. And then if you want to override the bundle identifier, that is really up to you. I'm just going to leave it as default. And that's actually what I did to, to make this work. And that's really everything that you need to do. The last thing is you can do, you know, obviously connect your Magic Leap via USB-C to your computer. Once you do that, you're going to be selecting the path. We're going to be putting the bill. I'm just going to say it's going to be, MR, we can just say MRTK Magic Leap demo, and then just hit save and build, and that should basically work. So if you guys have any other questions about anything that I just mentioned, let me know. Just make sure that you go and look at some of the links that I'm putting in the description of this video, because they're going to walk you through, you know, how to generate a certificate, what are going to be some of the permissions that you need, and also, you know, where the download is for the plugin that you're going to need from MRTK to Magic Leap. So thank you very much, guys.